guys, happy Thursday. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through Q and A's today. Um, I got some awesome questions from last week and this week that I'm gonna go through. And as a reminder, these are for educational purposes only and should not be used as medical advice. So for medical concerns, please consult your doctor. Really gonna depend on your baby's age at different stages. Um, they might poop more frequently or less frequently. And also in general, there's some babies that are gonna poop every few days, some every day. So if you have concern, you would call your doctor and they can let you know based on your baby's age how often they should be going and give you tips if they are constipated. We get this question a lot and it kind of depends on which platform it's on, you know, like Amazon or our own website, Target or Walmart. Um, but if you wanna know about um, sales and new product launches first. I highly recommend you join our group. For the go-to, you're gonna take one capsule four times a day um, and avoid drinking more than one to two ounces 15 minutes before and after for maximum maximum effectiveness. So about halfway through your pregnancy, your body will naturally turn your mature milk into colostrum. So no, your newborn will not be missing out on the benefits of colostrum um, and, your and your toddler can still nurse during this time as well. So unfortunately there isn't just one supplement that's gonna work the fastest or the best for everyone. Um, everyone works differently so I would suggest you start with one, take the required amount and see how it works for you and if that works then you know that works for you. But also knowing that not just the supplement alone is going to help boost your milk supply. There are tons of things you can do along with it. Drinking more water, having skin on skin contact, power pumping, these are all gonna add to increasing your milk supply. So what works for one baby might not necessarily work for another. So that's also important to notice um, that it's gonna be different for each one. So some things you can try is burping your baby during feeding and after feeding. So consistently getting them to, having them burp consistently while they're feeding is gonna have them feeling better when they're done. So they got some of that extra air out during. You can also feed them at an angle. You can try um, gas drops, which are really good for the tummy. And, and finally, if you're trying everything and you're noticing excessive gas after every feeding, I would call a lactation consultant because it could be something in your diet that's affecting um, how they're taking it in and the gas. So that's always an option. Similar to the last question, and I've actually been asked this before, but I just tell people whichever flavor you like the most because um, they all have the same awesome ingredients that help boost milk supply, but if you enjoy it more, it's gonna help with oxytocin levels. So that's a bonus. All right, guys, that's all the Q&As that I have for this week. Um, if you still have a question that you would like answered, go ahead and put it here. Um, Q&As are every single Thursday. I also post them on IGTV. All right, we'll see you guys soon. And if you're not following us yet, be sure to follow us at Mommy Knows Best on Instagram. And remember, if you're watching this and doubting yourself, you are a great mom. So thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next week.